Hello boys and girls, my name is Lewis, Lewis Logic. I make raps, I sing, I play piano, I dance badly, but very enthusiastically, and I make comedy. Stupidity and poor impulse control, that was an easy one. I've had a lot of failed relationships, does that count? Homosexuality, very, very hard to be gay in rap. I'm kidding, I'm not gay. I grew up in the suburbs, does that count? I was adopted by an Italian family. They were white. You know, the first time I heard my rap voice back, I was 17 and I didn't rap for two years after hearing my voice for the first time. So I was like, okay, I can't do it. I'm terrible. I have a bad voice and a bad accent. So I overcame that. Not as the gay rapper. I, I was kidding about that for real. I sleep with women all the time on tour. Don't, all right, you gotta delete that part. I'm, it's fine. As somebody who didn't have rules or guidelines in how they made records, wow, that was such an honest answer, that was good. I don't usually play well in interviews. I don't answer the questions and stuff. I want people to remember me as a, a hip hop artist who didn't really think about what the rules and conventions were because I don't give a shit about that at all. I just like making art that's fun and exciting for me. And I, you know, I hope that you like it. I made an album called Misery Loves Comedy with um, my old producer, JJ Brown, who literally taught me everything I know about being a studio recording artist and, and even a stage performer. He was a really amazing production partner to have. He was, he was a true producer, as opposed to these kids who just like loop and sample and like, like I produce, you know, you make beats at best, buddy. JJ knew how to make artists. I've been working on what was going to be an EP, and I'm trying to figure out a way to expand it into an album. So this will be my first new Studio Lewis Logic material in six years. I'm not going to use samples because I lost the opportunity to have a song in a, a major motion picture because of a sample, and it broke my little heart. I, I like sampled records. I think they're amazing, and it sucks that they push artists this far, but I just can't afford to make a sample record again and experience that kind of heartbreak. So this one, this next one, doesn't have samples on it so far. It's with a producer who doesn't need to use them because he's a wizard and a scientist. My new record, the singing is a bit more genuine and experienced. Um, it's still just silly stuff about beer and fucking and um, jokes about all the most sensitive and uncomfortable things the male ego encounters. I am sorry that I took so long to make a new record. I feel a little bad about it, to be honest. Um, but in fairness, um, it was with it in mind to, to make an even better record because I've been exploring and um, just experimenting artistically and trying to find the inspiration to make something unique and new that was different from my old records. I've never made the same kind of record twice. People who know my catalog know that, and um, you know, while I've not experienced the same kind of like fourteen-year-old girl adoration as groups like Outkast, um, I try to be one of those artists who evolves on each record, and you can see a clear difference um, from one project to the next, but the same level of quality. That's, that's the idea, anyway. I don't know how how well I'm living up to it, but. Um, yeah, I feel a little bad, guys, that I, I made you wait like six fucking years for me to make what might turn out to be a five-song EP, depending on how the expansion project goes. Um, but I promise I'm not going to do that again. I feel really recharged. And when I signed to Fake Four in 2010, um, I got excited again about making hip-hop records. Um, so you should know that. That means you're going to have to put up with a lot more of my shit.